In a separate movie, I showed what fun you could have by taking an envelope generator and running it through a resonant filter to add warbles to the envelope shape. Well, there is actually a module dedicated to this function. It's called the Sly Grogan. It's from Nonlinear Circuits. It's actually based on an old ElectroNotes article that combined sort of a simple envelope generator and a resonant filter into one module. I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and play with this dedicated module, just to give you an idea of what it can do. Like an ordinary envelope generator, you can give it a gate. It can also be re-triggered with a separate trigger function. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a copy of my gate signal over here and run it into the uh, gate input. It has a gate level, and what that actually is, is a sort of um, amplitude for the final envelope, and I'll show how we can use that to mix in the envelope later on. I'll take its normal output, I'll put number one, run it into the blue channel on my scope for now so you can see it, and then take the output of that blue channel and run it to my filter cutoff on the Mother 32. Let's go ahead and move this cable out of the way so you can see things a bit better. I might notice the attack has this little ringing hump to it. That's controlled by two factors. The attack rate, which is actually the cutoff for the internal filter, and the damping amount. If I was to turn damping all the way counterclockwise, we get the least amount of ringing. And now the attack time goes from just a short, quick little blip attack, to something that's a bit more dragged out. And then the damping increases the amount of resonant rings we have in that envelope shape. I'll speed up the attack rate, get a little faster warble there. to the start of the attack there. It does have a release control as well, but it basically goes from extremely fast to very fast. Here is minimum release. Very much sort of a gate off to more of a gentle release. I wish it had a longer release. So I'm actually going to ask Andrew on Linear Circuits if there's a way of modifying mine to get a longer release time. There's also voltage control over both the attack release time with an attenuator to help control that and also over the damping. So I'm gonna take a couple of the sliders on my Max 25 keyboard here and hook them up to those parameters just to show you what we can do with those. Let's take number five if I remember right. Actually that's number six. Run it to the attack release time. Take number seven, which is my second slider and run it to damping. And that way if I go ahead and set up just say a very simple arpeggio, ahead and play around with the attack time. Before they run together, start with an intermediate time here. Low voltages are faster attacks. Higher voltages are slower attacks to the point where the envelope's triggers start to run into each other. And then damping again is how many resonant bounces we have afterwards. Now, in addition to having this normal envelope out, it also has two additional outputs, two and three, which output not the entire envelope shape, but just a spike based on the initial leading edge of our gator trigger. Now that's good for adding to normal envelopes just to add some more interest to them. So let's go ahead and play around with that. I'm gonna keep my gate signal. I'm gonna go ahead and keep my output. I'm gonna pull those for now, just so we don't get confused by having too many cables around. I'm gonna move over to one of the other alternate outputs, like two for now. I'm gonna take the output of my envelope generator, put it on the green channel just to make it easier to see. And I'm gonna route both of these up to the utility mixer so I can mix and match the levels of these two signals. And then we'll take that output and run that to our normal VCF cutoff. Okay, our normal envelope generator is on number seven here. You see it's output on green, 
And here I'm mixing together the level. And the blue trace you see is the damped ringing output from the Sly Grogan. That set of humps, if we used it by itself, we just have that little warble. I'll go ahead and raise my cutoff. There's an additional negative hump when I release the key. And again, this is affected by your attack and release times. And by damping. And then out three is a sharper version of it, particularly on the attack side. Very nice little stick attack there at the very beginning. I can mix those together to create more complex envelope shapes. And again, because I like you to see these things on the scope, I'm going to pull that output and instead run a yellow cable just for the sake of clarity to the yellow trace of my scope and run that composite up to my filter cutoff so you can see what's going on. Make sure my cables are all the way. So the yellow right now is just the little spike coming out of Sly Grogan, but I'll mix in the normal envelope. Pull down my cutoff. Raise my sustain level here. So now I have a nice composite envelope between the two. And I can go ahead and invert the contribution of Sly Grogan. So we get a nice little pluck on the key release. A little more soft rounding to the attack. And again, I can mix and match these to my taste. And here's where the gate level comes in handy because it actually controls the output level of the Sly Grogan. I can knock it all the way down, no contribution, and add it into taste without having to go over to my utility mixer. Again, output two has a slightly lazier response. So it's a cool little utility module, particularly if you're looking to get some different envelope shapes. Again, I showed in a different movie how you can use filters to get the same effect, but maybe you don't have extra filter modules hanging around or you don't want to do a bunch of crazy patching. This makes it easy to go ahead and create some spikes to go ahead and mix them with your envelopes to create things that are a bit more interesting.